Hi guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make these super delicious and very fast air fryer potato wedges. And if you love this video, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. If you've seen any of my other air fryer videos, then you know how much I love this machine. It has saved me so much time and it makes food so crispy and delicious. These air fryer potato wedges are the perfect thing to cook in there. And best of all, they only take 10 minutes to make. First thing we're gonna do is peel our russet potatoes. Now we're gonna cut our potatoes into wedges. I do one slice to cut it in half and then I angle my blade and make my first wedge about there my second wedge about here, and then I just take the last thick piece and just cut it in half for my third and fourth wedges. And that should give you a fairly equal wedge size and shape. That is actually quite important that you keep them consistent so that they cook evenly and kind of all around the same time uh, in the air fryer. I've heard that some people like to soak their potatoes in an ice bath um, before they put, put them into the air fryer and that makes them crispier. I don't feel like you really need to do that in the air fryer because it does such a good job of making pretty much anything you put into it crispy. But please let me know in the comments below if you've tried the ice bath technique and if you really believe in it. Next thing we're gonna do is toss these potatoes into a bowl and then we're gonna season them. I'm using uh, paprika, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And of course I'm gonna coat them with a little bit of olive oil to start. So for the measurement of olive oil, I'd say just about a tablespoon should work. And then this is something that I feel like is a really important step. I like to mix up the potato wedges as they are in the olive oil first so that it gives all the seasoning something really nice to stick to. So give these a nice quick toss. Oh, flying out. Okay, now with everything perfectly coated, I'm going to add the seasoning. So first we're gonna do the paprika. This is just gonna be about a teaspoon, but I'm not gonna measure. You don't. You can measure if you want to, but it's totally fine to do it by feel. Then I'm gonna add my uh, garlic powder. Again, teaspoon, should be totally fine. I like a little more garlic uh, on my potato wedges. Totally up to you. And the last two things we're gonna do, the salt and pepper. Just a couple big pinches of salt. And we're gonna add a little bit of pepper too. These potato wedges, cooking in the air fryer are just like, they're just so fast. Um, and I feel like, you know, when you're cooking potatoes in the oven or if you're boiling them, it just takes so long. So I just love this air fryer shortcut. We're gonna give it one last little toss. Just trying to make sure everything is nicely coated. And now we're gonna pop these wedges into the air fryer. You don't have to be too worried about uh, keeping them from overlapping a little bit. Um, if they do overlap, that's totally fine. There's more than enough heat in here to make them crispy. So let me show you guys how they should look. There you go. Okay, and now we're gonna pop them in the air fryer. So we are gonna cook them at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Some people will say, oh, you should um, preheat your air fryer. I've never understood that. I don't think you need to. It's such a small and really hot oven in here that I think that's kind of useless. So we're gonna set it for 400 degrees at 10 minutes. and then let it do its thing. Um, at the five minute mark, that's halfway, we're gonna remove the basket and just give it a little bit of shake and then pop it back in there to finish them. All right, we've hit the five minute mark, so let's take them out and give them a little shake. Just toss them up a little bit and then we're gonna pop them back in to finish the five minute time. All right, 10 minutes is up. Let's take a look and see how we did. Whoa, those look so good. Okay, but, 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 here's the thing guys. Um, they are not crispy enough for me. They might be crispy enough for some people, but I want extra crispy potatoes. So I'm going to pop them back in for just another two minutes at 400 degrees. All right, I think they are ready to go now. Oh yes, there we go, there we go. Super crispy. That's what we're looking for. These look so good. Let me just throw them on this plate and I'm gonna show you how I finish them off. Look at how crispy and delicious these are. And I know you can't smell these, but they smell amazing. I love to top these potato wedges off with a sprinkle of sea salt. So let's do that first. There go. And also a little sprinkle of parsley. All right, and of course, you gotta get a little dollop of ketchup. Let's put it right in this corner here. <laughs> 
That was the ketchup. It wasn't me. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh and I'm 40 years old and I'm still laughing at like fart jokes? Anyway, okay. All right, let's give them a try. These look so delicious. I cannot wait to try them, but you know what's coming. Before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more recipes from the air fryer, check out my air fryer recipes playlist. Okay, let's do a taste test. Here we go. Oh God, these are so hot. These are so hot. I really should wait, but I can't because I want them so bad. Okay. Whoa, they're so hot. But these are so crispy and they are so delicious. If you look, you can see how perfectly they're cooked inside. And you can see the nice crispy skin. Man, I just love these potato wedges so much. And the air fryer makes them so easy, makes them so quick. It only took just around 10 minutes. You guys have to make these potato wedges. Please do, and I'll see you in the next video.